Um, what have what's the advantages? I mean, of your experience. I know it's not just the national pageants. You also joined the 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 local one in Bohol and all of that. Yeah. Any any learning small and how did you grow from that journey, Pauline? Whew. Well, I, I guess it's like a typical story in my case because my first ever pageant, however small it might have been, was in college. Uh, you know, you Mr. and Miss Intramurals. That was my first ever pageant. And from then on, it was really a ladder going up to the national. So from school or from college uh, to the municipal level, provincial level, and then national pageantry. And I think one of the key lessons, especially this year, is to, one, be patient with yourself. And if there's one voice that needs to be kind, it needs to be the voice in your own head. Because that's yeah. the one that actually speaks the loudest to, not to others, but mainly to yourself. And it's going to affect so much of what you do and how your outlook is towards everything in the world. And I've, I've, I admit I have been a bit maybe harsh towards myself, trying to be the best or trying to be perfect. And I guess I've learned that I shouldn't focus on being perfect to such a point where I lose or stop being me. And that's that's something you you'll have to go through that on your own to really understand or realize that. But that was one of my key realizations. Don't focus too much on being perfect that you forget to be you. I love it. Grabe. Self-discovery, right? At the end of the day, the more you discover who you are, the more you become aware, the more you're clearer in your purpose and your passion, uh, the more guided you will be moving forward in your life. I love it. Um, I know the pageant 